Now, Jean Bigirimana has been missing. He's a journalist in Burundi and went missing on the 22nd of July after receiving a call from the country's National Intelligence Service. This follows a Human Rights Watch documenting a series of abductions, arrests, torture and killings of civil society activists, journalists and others by government forces and armed opposition groups and some are unknown assailants in the country. Bigirimana was reported missing a few weeks after his return from neighboring Rwanda where he had gone to attend a journalism training course. According to Iwaku, the daily he worked for, officials from the intelligence service are the ones who arrested him. Security forces have also said right from the beginning Birimana is not in the hands of the police and that he was not arrested. We head to Bujumbura now where Leandr Sikuya Vuga, editor-in-chief of the Iwaku Daily, joins us to give us more. Since his disappearance, you carried out investigations. What did you find? On Saturday at 2 p.m., a source informed me that there would be a dead body in a river where Jean was arrested. A team of journalists were, was dispatched to the place at the end of investigations, and that's exactly what they found. They could hardly identify the corpse since it was already in bad condition. And then the place was very ragged, so we could not easily go and see the body. We carried out our own investigations because because the police or the National Intelligence Service said they, were, they did not know the whereabouts of our journalists. But with the testimony of the herdsmen who are around the area, we cannot conclude that it's him. But still, we doubt the identity of the body. And up to now, the police and the intelligence service still say the same thing. It's only the Independent National Commission of Human Rights who went with the team on Saturday, but they did not find anything. So officially, no information has been provided. According to you, why did he disappear? It's difficult to explain. Iwaku, Iwachu had sent a team of journalists for training in Rwanda. He was not the only one. When he was a journalist, he interviewed Burundian journalists who were seeking refuge in Rwanda. A story asking them how they lead their lives there and that could lead someone to just disappear like that. It's not known. But we are, we are waiting on the authorities. Our journalists went to the, uh, went to the environs of the scene and they saw the body, but because of the unevenness of the area, they could not reach the place. But we know what, that the police have the means to find the cops and identify it. What we are asking is for the cops to be, fa to be identified. We are speaking to Mr. Sikuya Vuga in Burundi, where we hope uh, Mr. Jean Bigirimana is found well and alive.